Hi, my name is Anel Kanda, and in today's lesson, we're going to share wonderful tips to help you build a successful youth and young adult ministry for your church. Oftentimes, people will come to me and they said, how can I help my Sabbath school? What can I do to build my youth Sabbath school or my young adult Sabbath school? I will often tell them, put the brakes on right there. Don't start with a youth Sabbath school or a young adult Sabbath school. Take a step back. What you want to build is a youth ministry or a young adult ministry for your church. You see, God wants you to have a bigger vision for your church regarding youth and young adult ministry. Number two, start with what you have. Don't worry about what you don't have. Take an inventory of your resources, your people, your leaders, your teachers. Find out what your facilities are and your budget, who your teens and your teen leaders are. And this will be a great starting place with knowing how you should proceed. Number three, there's a wonderful formula that has to do with success when it comes to a youth and young adult ministry for your church. This formula consists of five simple ingredients. Here they are. Number one, study, the study of God's word. Number two, worship. Number three, outreach. And number four, fellowship. And number five, planning. Oftentimes, I'll sit down with youth and young adult leaders who want to grow their ministry, and I'll ask them, what is missing from your youth and young adult ministry? And we'll go over that formula of study, worship, outreach, fellowship, and planning. And they'll share with me, we got the study down, we got the worship down, we got the fellowship down, and we do lots of planning, but we're missing something. And I'll say, you're missing the outreach component. You need some kind of outreach to the community, to the church, to other people. This is an ingredient for healthy youth and young adult ministries. One time I sat down with the church that I began to pastor, sat down with the youth and young adult leaders. We went over this formula of study, worship, outreach, fellowship, and planning. And I asked them what was missing from their church experience. And they said, we got Bible study down, we do worship, we got outreach, but we're missing the fellowship. So we began to plan fellowship events for our church. And you know what took place? The youth and young adult ministry began to blow up as a result. You see, the target is healthy youth and young adult ministries. And the byproduct of a healthy and youth and young adult ministry will be a growing youth and young adult ministry. All healthy youth and young adult ministry need those five ingredients. Study, worship, outreach, fellowship, and planning. Here's another tip that will help you. When it comes to advertising and getting the word out about your ministry, use kids to reach kids. Use teens to reach other teens. Use young adults to reach other young adults. Find out which teens are most consistent in your group. Find out which mo young adults are most consistent in your group and ask them to help be your greatest uh, advertisers of that event or that ministry. And you're going to find they're going to be the very best evangelist for your ministry. Here's another tip. Be consistent. Now that sounds easy, but being consistent is not always easy. Don't worry about immediate results. Make a determination that you're going to stick this ministry out even if lots of people don't show up. You see, several years ago, when I began to start a young adult ministry at the church I was pastoring, I sat down with two other leaders. We were going to do a Friday night Vespers at my house. One of my leaders was going to cook the food. Another was going to play music. And I was going to do a informal Bible study discussion. We prayed and we planned. And you know how many people showed up that first Friday night? Zero. But we were determined to do, be consistent. The next Friday we met, and you know how many people showed up? Only one person. But we were determined. And you know what happened? With one year's time, there were 45 young adults meeting in my house every Friday night. God blesses diligence. God blesses consistency. Even if you're not seeing immediate results, don't give up. God will bless you. Here are a few quick tips that will help you when it comes to doing a Bible study or sharing a worship talk with young people. Number one, use food. Oftentimes you read in scripture how Jesus sat down and had a meal with people. 
You know, the thing you can always count on with youth and young adults is this. They're always going to be hungry. So having a home-cooked meal, having some refreshments or some appetizers that are available are always going to be a great attraction to young people. I had a friend who started a very successful youth Sabbath school, and one of the things he did is he had breakfast there available for kids. A lot of these teens were rushing to church and didn't get time to eat. So he had breakfast there waiting for them right before they started that Sabbath school, and that Sabbath school grew. Another tip is this. When you're hosting Vespers or you're hosting a time to sit down and connect with kids, use homes. Find the, uh, uh, a comfortable environment for youth and young adults to be able to sit down, to worship, and to, to spend time together. So many times the church is a place where it's, it can be very awkward or sometimes challenging to invite someone to. But a home is a comfortable place that you can invite youth and young adult to. Another tip is this. When you're doing worships or Bible studies, keep them 30 minutes or less. Now, I know I may sound a little bit dogmatic about this, but the reason you want to do this is because it's going to give them what they need. The human mind loses its ability to receive information after about 30 minutes. So keep it 30 minutes or less, be adamant about this, and you're going to find the next time you have this study or the next time you have a Vespers, those people are going to show up again. Why? Because they know you respect their time. Another tip. When you're doing worships or Bible studies with youth and young adults, or maybe you're studying out the uh, baptismal study guides with them, use graphic stories in Scripture. Why? Because narrative preaching and narrative storytelling is very effective with young people. Here's another quick tip. Don't let parents take over. Whenever there is a, a Sabbath school time, whenever there is a Bible study time or worship time, there'll be a moment of silence. And oftentimes, eager parents are ready to answer questions and take over. Remind your parents that are there, that are helping with leading out, to keep quiet and let the youth and young adults engage in the Bible study. Here's another tip. Be super creative. Be super creative. Come up with new ideas. Sit down with your team and begin to plan out what some wonderful, diverse ways that you can reach out to youth and young adults. Look, you may not be in a church with an amazing youth pastor. You may have a, a, a church where the youth ministry is not so great. You may hear about another church in your local town or community where they got a great youth pastor and they're attracting lots of, of youth and young adults. Rather than focus on being a very interesting youth leader, Focus on being interested in the lives of youth and young adults. You're going to find they have lots to offer and they're willing to share. Hope you enjoyed this time. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm.